Howdy folks, BC here. You're watching Deucey Guns and today I'm going to talk about the small base die. What does it do and when will you need one? First of all, what does a small base die do? Well, what it does is you run your brass through it before you've reloaded it and it actually sizes it down even smaller than the actual full length resizing die. It brings it right down to the bare minimum spec for cartridge size to chamber and your rifle. It sometimes even goes a slightly below that so then it will guarantee that it will chamber in the tightest of chambers. Now you know how they work. Now the question is, when will you need one? Well, if you only reload for bolt action rifles, you probably won't need one. If you only reload brass that's already been shot through that one specific firearm, then you probably won't need one because it'll be fire form to that particular chamber. But if you fire the same caliber between a couple different rifles or and or you actually pick up brass from the range and use that in your rifle, you may want to check this out. You may want to make sure that your firearm is going to actually fully chamber that brass. Now I reloaded 223 and 5.56 for several years without using or even thinking about using a small base die. Didn't even own one. Namely because for the first couple of years I only reloaded 223 for my single shot handy rifle. It does not matter right there as long as you can get that sucker to close up. You're golden. You're good to go. It is not going to have a problem. And then later on, I picked up a DPMS upper. No ammo on the table, by the way. And it has, it just happens to have one of the largest spec chambers out there. And it was able to chamber everything. So again, I did not use a small base die on this. I didn't need to. I never had any kind of problems with brass chambering after I reloaded it. Even stuff from the range, I didn't have a problem with it. Now, I'm not saying all DPMS uppers have those generous chambers, but this one happens to. Now, the reason why I had to buy a small base die was because I built Vera here. If you're not aware from previous videos, Vera is my three-gun rig, and when I built it, I used a Sabre Defense barrel. Now, the company Sabre Defense is defunct now. It was actually was shut down by the government for some things that may or may not have been legal. You can Google that in your own time. But suffice to say, the actual barrels I made were very, very good, very high quality. And in order to get some, just a little bit more accuracy out of them, they made them with very tight chambers. Now that's helpful for accuracy, of course, but it does hinder reloading, especially when I can use my full sizing die from Lee and it's still not sometimes chamber. So I had to go ahead and buy a small base die to guarantee all ammo will chamber correctly. Now, some of you are asking yourself, well, BC, what's the big deal? What if it doesn't chamber all the way? Well, if you've got a bolt action rifle or a single shot handy rifle like what I've got, you try to push the bolt all the way forward and lock it down, it doesn't go, you pull it back out and you toss that round, put in a fresh one, you're good. Same thing with the handy rifle. You try to close that action, it doesn't close all the way, you open it back up, you toss that round, you stick a fresh one in, you're good to go. Not so much with a semi-automatic rifle such as the AR-15. AR-15, here's an AR-15 bolt right here. And what, the way it works is, if you're not familiar with it, is there's a huge spring back here, goes all the way back to the buttstock, and it forces the actual bolt forward. And as it does so, once it gets into the chamber, this little actual bolt, this is a bolt carrier back here, and the little bolt, this little section in the front that rotates. And as it closes all the way, it rotates just a few degrees and locks in all those little locking lugs in the front there. Now, if your bolt is not locked in correctly, and you pull the trigger and fire your rifle in that condition, then there's nothing holding that bolt into the chamber, which means this is going to blow back out of the chamber and introduce all of the firepower that would be pushing a bullet down the barrel into basically yourself and the shooting companions that you have at the range. So it's going to be a bad time for everybody, including yourself. Now it's demonstration time. I've got a piece of 5.56 brass. I have put it through a full length resizing die from Lee and I've decapped it, which means taking the primer out. I put a new primer in there, no powder, no bullets, so I've just got a primed case that's been fully sized, but has not gone through a small base die resizing. And I'm gonna show you, and when demonstrate that, I can chamber this fully and easily into Speedy here, which is my name for my DPMS upper. It's ultralight, so it's called Speedy. I'll take it back out, and I'll put it in Vera here, and I'll show you how. I cannot get that to chamber fully, but I'll pull the trigger and you'll hear that primer go off. I'm not sure what it's going to sound like, what it's going to do, so I've got my eyes and ears on just in case. 
but you'll see that I can actually shoot that primer off without the bolt being fully chambered. And here's a close-up of Speedy's actual chamber there. As you can see, nice short barrel, lightweight, and no Ford assist. Here's a piece of brass with the primer, no bullet, no powder. I'm going to go ahead and just single load that piece of brass into the chamber. You can see it right there. And she closes very easily. Nice open chamber, of course. I have to use the cutout, but it go ahead and chambers right in. And if you use the cutout there, it'll chamber right in. Not an issue whatsoever. All right, let me go ahead and take this out. There we go. And go ahead and grab Vera here. You can see the chamber's open. I'm about to touch the camera over there. So you can tell it's a much longer barrel. And I've got the same primered piece of brass. No powder, no bullet. I'm gonna stick it in the, almost dropped it there. I'm gonna stick it in the chamber. There we go, as you can see the chamber, the brass right there in the chamber. And you can tell it is not going to go. Now I can, if I want to really, really hammer on this actual uh, Ford Assist, if I want to hammer that, it will go ahead and chamber. But that's not what I'm trying to show here. I'm trying to show you that if you come across this, you don't notice that that's actually not fully chambered, you can still pull that trigger and fire off that primer without the bolt being fully chambered. So let's go ahead and do that here. And again, eyes and ears are on. Huh. It didn't go off. What do you know? That's very interesting that I could not get that to go off because again, I've been told my entire reloading career that that could happen by people who I considered be much, much better and more knowledgeable than me in reloading. So now, I don't want to tell you that you still shouldn't get a small base die because it's still good to keep from jamming up your firearm in the middle of shooting. Because again, this is a competition rifle. You've got a competition rifle, you definitely want to make sure that each round will chamber every time. Does it work the brass a little more? Yes, it does. But you're going to use them once. You use them once, and then you're only going to be firing that particular piece of brass in this particular rifle. So you only need to resize it for this chamber once, and then it's good to go for this chamber. Well, folks, that's all I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like and subscribe, because I have a lot more of this on the way. And if you have any comments or questions, leave me in the comment box below the video. Also, if you have any anecdotes about a firearm going off when the cartridge isn't fully chambered, put that in the comments as well, because I know I've heard about this, and I know... I have seen raw footage of this where it has happened at the range and it's blown up the gun in the person's hands. So if you have any comments about that or anecdotes about that, leave those in the comments as well because I know I've seen that. I just could not recreate that situation with Vera here today. And as always guys, stay safe, have a great day. See ya!